on the pages of fashion magazines and on the catwalk. Clothing pieces knitted by Ukrainian women can be seen in the world of high fashion. Knitting fashion, it distracts me from the most horrible things from what is going on in Ukraine right now. Lena, who didn't want VOA to use her last name, is one of many Ukrainian women who knit pieces of art like these, in some cases while working in a basement while shelling is underway. Today I was calling one other woman in Krivy Rih regarding knitting, and she said, Lena, I cannot talk right now, there is shelling. Lena supervises dozens of knitters all around Ukraine, including Kiev, Kherson and Krivy Rih. They knit even when the electricity goes out, only by candlelight. Still, they manage to create handmade masterpieces that American fashion brands are including in fashion shows. Libby Tolm works with both the Ukrainian women and U.S. designers as the CEO of her Texas-based company, Elite Knitting. We worked with Alejandra Alonso Rojas, we worked with Zak Pazen, we did some work for Kellen Klein as well. Tom says designers know the women's plight. At the start of the war, Oscar de la Renta helped us a lot. They knew all of our knitters are located in Ukraine, so they created a GoFundMe page. And we were able to pay our knitters for three months of their work in advance, before we received a single piece from them. Tom says sometimes they don't hear from their knitters for months. With Russian forces destroying communication infrastructure, it is sometimes difficult for the women to get in touch. Every time we ask them how they are doing and every time we are afraid to hear what they have to say. Tolm says many of the knitters had a chance to escape to Poland, a move that would have made their work easier. But she adds, so far, every one of them has chosen to live and work in Ukraine. Fanina Vishnova in New York, NRI's VOA News.